on this episode of Mighty Car Mods. It is very, very exciting because we are going to look Before at... Before we Mike kick off, full disclosure from the beginning, this episode of Mighty Car Mods is proudly sponsored by this lemon tart. Lemon I don't tart. know if... Yes, yeah, a lemon tart. Did you buy that from the shop? Yes. I don't know if you've had a lemon tart before, oh. but they are damn delicious. It's a bit smelly. And so, no. And so today on this episode... <laughs> Today on this episode of Mighty Car Mods, there's a new car. But it's not in a the car. Building. Is it a car though? Oh, I don't know. I'll Martin's go gonna go it. get it. You'll and hear what it. What you're about to see will blow your wormhole 79.4 galaxies west. It's the best car we've ever had. It, listen it is to the it. best car we've ever had. It is, and this one's. Oh, listen to it. Yeah. Bring it in, Martin. Watch out for my pie down there. Truck, yeah, man! Yeah! Truck, yeah! K-truck! K-truck! Not, truck. Not, Not just a K-truck! Let me say K-truck! Not just a K-truck! K-truck! Not just a K-truck! It's four-wheel drive, it's a tipper, it's low range, it's jacked up, it's the best vehicle we've ever had, ever. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods. We bought a K truck. We bought a K truck. I was in the market for a truck. I love trucks. I love excavators. Love that kind of stuff. Love doing a bit Martin of casual DIY. Owns an excavator. I love a bit of casual I DIY. I own a shovel. His shovel is attached to a machine that it you is. can sit in. And you know what? A, a wheelbarrow is a great thing when you're shoveling, but when you're excavating, a wheelbarrow doesn't last very long. You need a big wheelbarrow, and you need one that's on wheels. And now, normally, you would go and buy a big truck. Yes. And we Would went you? through this. Would you actually though? Well, Would see, someone we, go buy we a big went, truck? No. We went through this. So this story started a little while ago. This is something that would, it's been on the ball. It's been happening for a long time. And there's a point where this all began and keen Mighty Car Mods viewers will know what that point was because you would have seen it when I went to Japan to get parts for the mirror. Do you remember this? I think I might be getting close because that is a Daihatsu high jet. Where there's Daihatsus. You know what else there is? Oh, it looks like I just pooped. That's right, that is the first time I ever saw a K-tip truck and I lost my mind and it never left my brain hole. And when I started thinking about the fact I might need a truck to do some work, yeah, this was what I thought of, but I was torn. Do Martin, remember? I tell you what, I would come in here and we'd go, cool, we're doing an NX Coupe, we're doing a Sierra, we're doing it out. The last, I reckon, 10 to 15 videos <laughs> you've seen started with the camera off of Marty going, man, should I do it? Should I do it? Should I not do it? Should I do it? This was such a long, ongoing conversation. And I'll tell you what I don't like. Sometimes people come up to me and they go, man, I found this Corolla. It's really cheap. It's really good. What do you think? And I go, you know what? Corolla's a good car. Next day, did you buy it? No. I'm just going to keep thinking Still about thinking it. Still thinking about it. Oh, I've got a bit more money now. What, oh, what about a baseline Golf? Yeah, they're a good car. They're cool. Two days later, did you get one? No. Don't, don't ask me if you don't want to know. Eventually, I said, Martin, we aren't talking about this anymore. I got his phone that was in his hand. I smashed it out like a pie because he's, oh, look at this, look at this. I'm like, that, let's just go buy one. And, it well, they're going to see what happened in the so thing anyway. We, we, went, we, we hit the streets and we tried to buy one. There is a very small chance you're about to do something, um, I want to say silly. It's not silly, it's, it's um, rash, a quickly decided thing. So all the time I send my good friend Moog links to... Cars on car sales, Gumtree, Facebook Marketplace, wherever you buy cars from. Um, I send him links and go, hey, this thing's pretty cool. And But like 80% of the time it's just, hey, this is cool. Wouldn't it be cool if we did this? And then we don't because we're sensible humans. Today is not one of those days where we're being sensible humans. We're actually going to go look at a car, a car unlike it's anything we've ever done before. A, a vehicle. vehicle Marty we... just showed this to me off his phone. He's like, look at this thing. Let's just buy it right now. No, we better not. Yeah, we're going to buy it right now. It's the cool one the of the coolest things I've ever knows, seen in my whole life. So there's a chance that this video will never see the light of day ever 
Or maybe it will. Or maybe we don't know will. yet. I think it will. It depends on our negotiation skills because this car's at a dealer. Jules. Heading down Victoria Road, Martin, to yep. go look at a vehicle. Yep, at a dealer. Yep, which you is never awesome. Know. You never it's know what's going to happen. It's actually quite similar to the vehicle we're in, isn't it? Uh, not at all. Oh, man, let's forget how fast this thing is. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's Just not as quick pause. as this vehicle's going to be, though. Depends at doing what, though. Well, this vehicle's going to haul ass, <laughs> isn't it, man? Yeah, Are you man. excited? Yeah, but it doesn't feel real yet. Like, are we actually going to go and pick up one of these amazing vehicles? I don't know. I've kind of decided to buy it even before I've seen it, which is <laughs> that dangerous. never goes well. But this is the cheapest one in the country, right? But this is not sight unseen, because we're going to look at it. Oh, no, it kind of is, because you would just buy it anyway. Well, if you don't buy it, I'm going to buy it. You're not going to be bargaining in front of a dealer. You're going to be going, I'll give you 15. I'll give you 16. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Oh, it's going to be pretty funny. What's that ugly car next to us, man? Oh. What is that? It is says that RS CR, on the back. That's a CRZ. No, but it's got a Ford Focus RS badge on the back. No, it's it. a CR... It does. Oh, it actually it's got does. a Focus <laughs> RS badge on the back. I know, because I've been at the factory. <laughs> yeah, dude. Look at it. Electric tipper. Full K truck, man. Wow, it's just a trailer with a 600cc motor in it. I love it. You love it? Yeah, yeah me too. It's actually awesome. <laughs> so good. <laughs> that is so cool. There we go. Dump. That's how you don't buy a car. <laughs> it's still there. Look at it. Oh, there it's it is. It's just teasing me. It's going, you need a little K tipper in your life. You do, and there it goes. It's gone. Gone again. Okay. Remember that video we never used? Let's we just go buy it. Nah, no, man. We can't. Why not? Well, we can't. What, we can't. By can't. let's, I mean you, because I don't have the money. <laughs> Should we go buy it? Nah, man. Why it's not, not It's an irresponsible purchase. Uh, we better be responsible. That's what modified cars are all about. But it's but see modified cars. It's not tip trucks, man. It will be a modified truck soon. Tip trucks are different. Is it? Well, you can modify a tip truck. That is legitimately still the it's, best choice. It's so cool, isn't it's it? It's legitimately the best choice. You can't put anything in it. I have like, this argument with myself running around my head every day. You can. It doesn't have move. enough capacity. Dude, you can do more than a third of a ton in there. Great. <laughs> Some people deadlift more than that. <laughs> actually, <laughs> they actually like, do. It's like the world, um, the world, oh, this guy's doing chop fingers out the window. Hey, bro, how you doing? Listen to how crap my BRZ sounds. They're like, oh my god, I'm gonna be on the internet. I wonder if they think we should buy a tip truck. Of course we should. Should we buy a tip truck? Sure. Damn it. There we go. Close your eyes, Martin. Imagine you're lying in your bed right now. Oh, and outside, in your driveway, there's like a big tipper truck, big expensive yeah. thing that's just sitting there. Take and think about all space. the cool stuff you can do with it. Yep. Just look, gauge that feeling in your body. Now imagine there's a little K tipper out there. Stop it. It's just sitting there. Me me. Hey, Marty. <laughs> and then I call you up and go, dude, do you want to go get some drive through? And we're just like, we'll we take, take the, the K truck. We'll oh, take the K dude. truck. And it's got some mad little wheels on it. It's all wheel drive. And then I'm like, hey, next weekend, let's take it to the track. I'm going to get like some little K van thing. And you've got that. And we're going to do a little K tipper versus K van thing. Like, what makes you feel. Follow joy, man. That's the Japanese thing. Like, what gives you the joy? Forget about the utilitarianism of it. What brings you the joy? But what about the joy that I don't feel when I go to, like, load it up and I realise I'm already at capacity and I've put, like, less than a third of what you can put in a normal ute? Well, the worst thing about that is you've just got more time in your tipper because you've got to do three times just, as many runs. I've just got to drive it more. Yeah. Oh, dude. But forget about the joy of doing the job because the job is, like, you it's can pay someone up. else to do yeah, it. And you can, Whatever. It's a yeah. one-up. What about, it's the joy of ownership, Martin. Which one will bring you joy? You need to, I'm not even joking, man. Everybody I'm not talking bullshit. Answer. It's like, what brings you some joy? That's the thing with Mini. My old Mini, oh, they're a bit slow. They're a bit whatever. I lie in bed at night and I just go, that's a mad car. I love that I own it. I haven't driven it for weeks because I've been busy in this thing. But it's, I still, I love that I own it. What do you love that you're going to own? 
a big truck or a little K-tipper. You know what you need to do, Martin. If you if there was a coin and heads was the K-truck and tails was the big truck and it flipped in the air, you know which way you want it to land, don't you? Yeah, tails. Was that the K-truck or the tip truck? That's the big tip truck. No, heads. <laughs> Where this story gets awesome is that I gave up. I gave up hope. I thought I'm never going to have a K chip drive. It's not going to happen. There's never nothing give in the up country. Hope. They're never too expensive. Up. I'm never going to find one. And just last minute, I thought, you know what? That's too much negative. I've checked marketplace. Man. I've checked car sales. I've checked truck sales. Not on truck sales. I finally went on Gumtree, which is like an Australian version of Craigslist. And I just went, I'm just going to try it. Daihatsu high jet. Boom. This comes up. It's in the mid north coast of New South Wales, five hours away. It's got a lift kit on it, and more exciting than that, look what was on it. I didn't put this on here. It already had that it already and had a chop sticker. I would like to congratulate my good mate Martin here because I have been imparting to him two words of uh, Zen-like Buddhist wisdom. May not be Buddhist, I don't know, but wisdom, and those two words are... Do it. No. Complete the task. Sight unseen. Oh yeah, off the internet. He did, let, why not just get it done? So Martin did so it. So I, I rang this, I rang the guy who happened to be an absolutely awesome bloke. And I said, dude, I really want to buy your tipper. Please tell me everything. And please don't have it be as expensive as the one that we saw on the side of the road. Daihatsu has been making the high jet model for bang on 60 years and then followed the evolution of K-class vehicles in Japan. Engine size and dimensions slowly increased as customers demanded more capacity and top speed, but you'll still be lucky to get near 85 k's an hour in the 70s in one of these things. By the 80s and 90s, Australia had some Daihatsus imported officially, but the later models like this S500 are now only just becoming available thanks to our revised import laws. Daihatsu made vans, freezer trucks, traybacks, extended cabs, six-wheelers and tippers, all based on the same chassis, which has proven to be tough and reliable. This particular model has a hydraulic PTO for tipping, a high and low range gearbox and lockable diffs, and thanks to its light weight, makes it a capable little off-road vehicle with the right tyres on it, even though most people just use them as farm trucks. It was like textbook how you want a car purchased to be. Hey man, Give you the money you want, through, send a truck with some t-shirts. Tell me through, like, talk me through it. Is it actually as good as it looks in the photos? Does everything work? It's Is better. It, and it's better. It? It's better than I could have ever I mean, hoped. I've only known this car I'm for so, five minutes, I'm but so it's happy with awesome. it. So it, there's a few mods you can see straight away. It's got a high power CB antenna on it and the CB guts are in there. Um, it's also well, that's got, good, Martin. It's also got a two, dude, it's full drive. Low range four drive. It's got a two inch lift kit in it, front and back. It's got blocks. It's been done properly, so the subframe's actually been spaced, so that the tail shaft measurement is still correct. It's had the tray painted in like a whatever you call that, like a rock. What is this finish called again? What do you call that? Tray like bed liner. It's called bed liner, and it's been painted in the bed liner. It's got a two way swinging tailgate, so you don't even need to get out of the truck if you want to. Tip Martin, it. can you open this so I can get I in can. there? I just so want to see approximately how that big one? it is. And that one, so that's one way the tailgate goes, but if you're just tipping, it will do that automatically. I want to get in. Swinging from the back. How big is the rear tray? I'm um, going to guess that is two metres. Because I am 185 centimetres. And look, my head, I oh know. Dude, the tray is 185 centimetres long. It's 1.8 metres, absolutely. 1.8. Ow! Oh, that sounded like it hurt. Yeah, that hurt a was lot. Was that your... I'm going to get the... I'm going to get a tape measure, because I want to know how wide it is. Okay. So the tray is more or less a similar size than what you get on like a big dual cab ute. So how many inches are we at? I don't know how many inches that is. 1380 by... 180. 18, 1880. One eight, maybe I was taller than I thought with I was. With the tailgate chart, it's like 1850. Yeah, awesome. That's cool. So this is a tipper. Would you like to see it tip? Martin, you and I could sleep in the back of it together. We could. Side by side. Yep. Would you like to do that one day? No. Um, we could... Do you, do you want to show? Do you want to see the tipper? Yeah. I'm excited. I've got to slow okay. down because I'm just a bit, a bit too excited. I'm not as excited as you, Martin, but I'm I'm excited for you. Good. That's one way the tailgate swings. If you tip it, it swings the other All way. Right, show me the tipping. So what's awesome about this? The other one we looked at had an electric tilt. This has what's known as a PTO, which is stands for I don't know something. I think I broke my shit on that thing. Check it out. Start her up. So at the moment we're in high range. If we want, we can flick up this thing and we're in low range for full driving. If you put it in the middle, you're in neutral. If I get in the back as you tip, will it slide me out? Yes. So we're in neutral, which means... Okay. You're all good? Yeah. So we're in neutral, which means like if I use the gears, nothing happens. See, I'm in all the gears. Just means that the transfer case stuff is all like disconnected. But 
This lever, which is covered in Japanese characters, it's a bit scary, actually. that activates the PTO and the tipper. Oh, if we're going to tip you out, we have to change the tailgate up. Oh, you no, I'll just jump out. Because okay. you'll tip the wrong way. What? Now, trust me, this is good. Here we go. Oh, you've got to manually do it. That no, no, sucks. you don't have to. That if, sucks. If you were a pile I of, thought it would auto do it. If you were a pile of dirt, no, you would make slide me a pile underneath. of dirt, auto do it. But then you'll. Okay. No, I won't. Are you sure? Yes, I will. I don't right. want it. Why? That's just a wheelbarrow. <laughs> I want it to auto do. All right, let's auto do. You asked for it. So now we pull on our PTO handle like this, clutch in, down. Now it's our not doing anything our yet. Tip is, shut up. Our tip is activated. So now you pick your gear and that like determines how quickly it all happens. Because we've got a man in there, we're going to put it in second gear and watch what happens when we let go of the clutch. I don't have to do anything else. It's not moving. You can hear it. it. It will start broken. to move. Watch this. Oh yeah, it's tipping. It's tipping. That's actually tipping. Now it's auto opening. See, it, it auto flapped. Okay. Do you want to come back down? Um, come back down? No, no, let me go. You're going to ride it out? Uh, Are you sure? Yeah. How, how, um. No, we're good. It goes like 45 degrees or something. I've had enough now. Okay, here we go. So turn your PTO <laughs> off and down we go. That's great. So we'll tip stuff out. Now, why is tipping stuff out so great? The reason people love them is because you only have to load stuff once. That's so you only good. had to get in, you don't have to get out. If you've got a load of mulch, if you've got a pile of dirt, if you go onto the tip with rubbish. Yes. And it's all about the K truck missions, dude. That's what's so awesome about this. It's the practicality. It's the fact you can drive around and you can like get stuff done. You make new friends. You ever heard that expression like, yes, it's my ute, no, I won't help you move? Ah, uh, yes, I have. Yeah, it's a thing. But wait on, how do you make new friends if you don't help people? No, because you do help them. Oh, so it's yes, Only I'm dickheads, you, yes, only I dickheads help you. don't help people. No, it's because like, look how, look, look you can do with this. You could move a fridge, you could move house with this thing, man. It's all the possibilities, the potential. You could run a farm, you could run a landscaping business. You could be a delivery driver. See this? 10 quick fire questions. Yes. Are you ready? I hope so. Engine size and induction methods. 660 non-turbo. How many gears does it have? Five speed manual. Ooh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. Is it, do, can you make it stop beeping? Yes, I can shut the door, hang on. Yep, that's the third question. Yeah, that's, that's an you. annoying Toyota Daihatsu thing that just needs to go away instantly. What technology does it have other than the obvious? Um, it's got aircon, it's got locking diffs, it's got a locking center diff and rear diff. Um, it's got air conditioning, it's got CarPlay, it's got... CarPlay? It's got CarPlay, dude. What year model, what year model is 2016. this? 2016. Oh, it's a modern car. It's only car. four years old. Okay. Um, what is the payload in the back? Well, officially, according to Japanese standards, it's 350 kilos. Okay. But it's more like half a ton. Have you shagged anyone in it? No. Um, can you go off-road in it properly? Absolutely, you can, but not with these wheels on it. But it did come with other wheels, proper four-wheel drive off-road wheels. Are we going to go four-wheel driving in it? I hope so. Are we? Yes. That'd be mad. Yes, we are. You need something. And no, no, th dude, this is, this we'll is about this. this right now. This yeah, is about this right now. I have one question left. Yeah. I should use it very, very wisely. Yes. Um, Martin. Yes. When you drive it, how do you feel? I feel great. I love it. It's great. It's, it's so practical. It's so, it, it ticks all those funny like K car boxes like the mirror does. Can I do an 11th question? Yeah. I want you to ask, answer totally honestly. Will you commit to doing that? Yeah. Okay. I just want the first answer with your heart. Let your heart speak. Oh, you're going to say Mira or K-Truck? No, you? I'm not. Okay, good. Don't make me do that. K-Truck or two-door STI? Go. Oh, K-Truck, dude. Really? Yeah, man. You have to have owned a truck to understand. The first time you go and go to like pick up some dirt or, or help someone move something or go to the tip. The first time you the pick up some dirt. The yep. Like no, when you need no, to, no, say you need good. to pick up something like, who, who knows, it's a ute, right? So you pick whatever you want up in it, but you're doing, you're going on a, you're doing a rubbish run. You're cleaning out your you house, can do that you're helping a mate, you're doing a council cleanup, right, whatever it right, is you do, you yeah. put everything in here. Yes. And you only load it in once, and yes. then you go to the tip, or you go to the recycling place, or whatever it is, and you pull that stick, and everything just flies out of it, and you get along with your day. And it's done. Okay. Or, another example, which I'll even show you. A few weeks ago, I needed to dig a hole. So I, dig, I dug a trench with my excavator. Where was I going to do with all that dirt? I had a, like a little, a skip there was a tiny little like driveway and stuff. And, yeah, exactly. But how do you get down to the skip bin if the skip bin's like 50 meters away? Martin, you gonna, you no, can't I'm drive the excavator no, no, back and I'm forth, man. 
That's good, man. I did it with my K-truck. Congratulations. I load it up with dirt, I throw it in. So yes, I have had the K-truck for a little while. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm so excited. I'm does excited a truck like this cost people. more than $10,000? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yes, it does. A K-truck, and this is the bit that made it so difficult to get to this point. A K-truck costs the same as a real truck. Does it? Yeah. But it's little. Yeah. Okay. So a real truck, the smallest real truck you can buy, which is like a f less than four and a half tons in our rules, less than four and a half tons, you can still drive it on a car license, right? Yeah. So it's a technically still like a car. The the heaviest that 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 will put you can put like two and a half tons in the back of it. Yes. This is like max half a ton yes. if you're feeling feeling okay. pretty wild, and they cost the same. Okay, good. So should a tradie who wants to do max payload get it? No. Can you tow anything with it? No. Can you put an excavator in the back of it? No. Nah. Can you put any plant stuff in it, like mowers and things? Maybe a mower. Um, so if you look at like a Ford Ranger or an Amarok or Hilux, yes. it's, it's, not, it's a different league. Yes. It's not comparable because it's got no back seats. It's yep. got no real ability. It's got a lot of ability. I mean, not in that. Yeah. You can't take five people to work and carry lots of stuff and tow a thing. You can't put it's a ton a, in the it's back. A though. It's a big tonker truck. A Ranger Amarok thing, you can put a ton in the back and you could put a tow a caravan behind it. Yes. Like that's a totally different but kind of But this you can tow a wheelbarrow. You could put a wheelbarrow in the back. Yes. There's other, also another thing that anyone who's owned like a steel tray ute or an aluminium tray ute or a truck will say, which is it's a different thing when you've got something that's like, like you can throw whatever you want in here. You can throw rubbish, you can throw dirty stuff, you can throw messy Have things. Have you become a truckin'? A trucker? No, a truckin'. What's a truckin'? It's like a vegan, but trucks. Um, Just truck, 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 get a truck, 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 truck. No. Truck. No, I haven't become a, a, tr a trucker. Though you get a lot of waves from people in trucks in this. Yeah. Who are like, that's sick. Or it's like the confused look of what, it, why, why? Yeah. And I have to agree with both because I think it's sick and also why would you? But this is, if you're in Japan dude, and you're a tradie, this is what no, you no, drive. No, no, this is the thing. This, this is, the, is thing. the thing. If you have a farm, this is what you drive. Martin, congratulations. I'm so stoked with it. I'm stoked with all the adventures that I've already, little adventures I've been able to have as I've been working it out and, you know, making sure everything works. And it's so modern that everything does work. Yes. It's just, you know, change the oil on it, that's it. That's not how it's going to stay. This is called Mighty Car Mods, Truck Mods, and um, stuff's going to happen. It's just um, going to happen. Next episode... We're taking it for a drive. Missions, K-Truck missions is what it's all about. Taking it on some missions. I've done a few missions, but there's more missions to do. Friends to make, things to do. Well done. Do you love it? Yeah. How do you feel about it? Oh, no, I really like it. It's so little. It weighs ah. a ton. It weighs one ton. That's crazy. And you can put half a ton in the back. Yeah. I'm a bit, yeah, look, I'm, I'm torn only because I love the truck, but I'm disappointed. Why? That you smashed my grandma's pie. I did, oh, did I run it over? Yeah. Sorry, man. It's, you can still eat it. Here you go. No, this bit? Here. that's fine. Just have this. That's fine. That's only got, dude, there's only like three ants on that. No. You can eat it. Thank you. Do you no, sure I'll you just go want? buy another one. You sure don't want Anyway, it? that's Martin's car. Thanks, everyone. We should go get a pie, though. Yeah, do you want to go get a pie? Yeah. Yeah, man.